Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am here with you to bring you another really fun card. We're going to make this cute card today. Um, and we are using quite a few products. We're using the Cup of Tea stamp set. And um, it comes in a suite or a bundle. This is the stamp set and the dies. You can buy it in a bundle. Um, and I added on this really cool um, die set. It's called Fabulous Frames. I couldn't remember the name of it. I had to flip it over. And this frame right here is super cool. Um, it's what I used for my main focal point here. So we are gonna work on this today, only we're gonna do it in a different color scheme. The Cup of Tea is in our annual catalog and it's on page 12 and 13, and it comes in a suite. The bundle's $45, and you can get the entire suite for 67, which includes the designer series paper that goes with it, and the matching um, tea boutique cards and matching envelopes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are gonna be using a little bit of, um, I don't know just some fun things I've done some stamping ahead of time because um, you have to die cut and I just figured it would be easier for us if I didn't have to die cut right here with you so we're gonna start on our card this time I'm using a different color scheme um, I use the hues of happiness paper and this piece of paper has two different color schemes in it it has a pink and yellow section and then it has a blues and purple section and it's in the same paper. So when I cut this strip, I thought, oh, I'm gonna do this card in two colors. How cool will that be? So you guys are gonna get this color scheme this time. So this is a piece of eight and a half by five and a half and um, I used Daffodil Delight for the first card and this is Pool Party. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that in half, meet our corners and then use our bone folder to press that into place. All right, so there is our main card. This is our designer series paper that is gonna be our focal. And out of our basic white, I cut um, a frame and it was a two and three quarters by four and a quarter inch piece for the frame. And the designer series paper to put inside the frame that I cut, I cut it two and a half by three and one eighth. And it does give you a little bit showing in the corners. So what I recommend that you do is you just take your paper snips and just trim the four corners off. Just like that, these teeny tiny little pieces. <laughs> That's as little as you need to trim off. I'm gonna slide those into my trash can right here next to me. Okay, so that is enough that you can put the glue on your frame and then attach it down onto your cardstock and it will not peek out through your, um, through your frame. So let's grab the silicone mat and I'm going to go ahead and attach this paper onto the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And I will need some more when I glue it to my card, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this over the top. Flip that over, make sure that nothing is showing. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Very happy with that. I think there's a teeny hair right there. Other than that, we're good. All right, so there's our frame. Let's go ahead and attach this onto our card. So I'm gonna flip it back over. And this time I'm gonna put adhesive on the whole back and also on this section so that it will stay stuck to my card. And we're putting it right onto our pool party. I'm gonna grab my tweezers to pick it up so that I do not get glue on my hands. And I think I like the flowers going in this direction, so I will put it right here. You want to try and center it as best you can. I'm going to go ahead and do that, but that's why I use the wet glue, because it gives me that wiggle room. 
and we can move it around a little if we need to, get it straight. Press that into place when we're happy with it. Oh, that's beautiful. These colors are so pretty. Then I'm gonna use my adhesive remover just in case I got a little glue from my silicone mat onto my piece. Looks awesome. Okay, so our teacup, because we're not using the pinks, I decided to go with Fresh Freesia for my teacup. So there is my teacup. And of course, um, I did use Granny Apple Green for my greenery. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some wet adhesive to the bottom of that, just a line. And I'm gonna bring my teacup up and place that down, just like that. And let that grab for a second. And then the flowers, I decided to do those in pool party to match the cardstock. I just thought that would be pretty. So here they are, and I have used glue dots. So I, I stamped them and then I die cut them out and I used glue dots. I just basically picked one up and stuck it to a glue dot. And then I stuck them onto this sheet so that they would be stuck there. So I'm going to um, go ahead and adhere those to my, um, my greenery. Just give it, you know, some cute flowers, I think. Don't you think that would be cute? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one here on this stem. And let's put the other big one across the way, maybe right here on this flower stem here maybe. That looks good. And let's put one of these small ones in this corner and another one kind of in the middle. These colors are really pretty. All right, so there's our little teacup looking good. Let's go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back. And make sure that there's enough on here to stabilize it. But I also like to put some on the handle. So I'm going to trim um, off of the edges um, just two little pieces here. I'll put one on this edge and one coming up this side here. I like um, all of my pieces to have nice stability. So I do, I am generous with my um, dimensionals, but to me, I like the way my cards turn out. So I'm very happy to do that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and attach our teacup off to the side here, kind of on this end. So we'll place it right there. And then we want to add some ribbon. So I just thought it needed a little bit of ribbon and it also needs um, some words. So we're going to do take care of yourself. I have to find that stamp. There it is. Take care of yourself. And I think we will do that in, I think, Fresh Freesia. If I can grab my ink pad. Here we go. So we'll stamp that in the bottom corner here. Take care of yourself. Look how cute that is. This card is turning out adorable. On the inside, I glued a strip of the same designer series paper. And here you can see where it is bright to, it has the two shades, the two colors. And you'll see that as well in this one. So let's go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of that and then I will stamp on the inside the let's get together soon and then we'll come back to the outside to do our ribbon and our embellishments. So here is our little half inch strip which I like to use those on the insides. I just think they add some interest and it brings the outside of your card in. So there is that. I always cut them a little long because I want to make sure that it's not short. There we go. So there's that. And then on the inside it says, let's get together soon. So let's grab that. Looks awesome. This card is coming together quite nicely.
Let's clean our two stamps, get those out of my way. We're gonna start with the twine. Whoops, I dropped my, my scrubber, my Simply Shimmy. I dropped it right onto the ground, I'm sure you heard it. All right, so let's do a double bow. I like double bows, I think they're fun. So we're gonna grab some twine here and I'm going to fold that in half and then I'm gonna start my double bow. Like that, oops, and like that. We're gonna cross our ends. Let me trim that end off so that it's out of my way. I'm gonna cross the ends and then put these, this loop through. This loop right here and we're gonna pull Come on, I don't think it got through all the way. Let's try again. I made a mess. Okay, let's put the two ends together, Kelly. Okay, here we go. Loop. Loop. Cross your loops. I think I didn't put it through the right loop. There we go. Now I have it through. We're going to cross these. Make sure that we don't go all the way through there. We're going to pull this back. And we're going to pull this one back. And then we're gonna pull a little bit more. And then I'm gonna get my two loops ready. Oh my gosh, I love double loop bows, they're so cute. All right, so there's my double loops. And then this loop here, we're just gonna cut that. And then we're gonna add this onto our card. We're gonna use a glue dot and I have one right here waiting for me. Grab that. Come on, don't stick to my fingers, stick to my twine. There we go. So we're gonna put that in the corner here. And I felt like the card needed just a little bit more color in the corner. And so I used the Sweet Sorbet um, metallic ribbon. This is what I used on um, the first card. And we have it in Tahitian Tide. It's a little bright, but I think that it's gonna be cute. So let's see what it looks like. If we don't like it, we won't put it on there, but it might be adorable. So we're gonna just tie, just like I did with the double bow, we're gonna just do this with the metallic ribbon and make sure that I pulled through. Here we go. Come on. There we go. All right, what do you guys think? I think it's cute. Let's do it. It's a little bright for our card, but there's some dark purple in here. We can add a little dark blue tone to it. It's our card, right? So I'm gonna put a little, um, If you don't like it, you could always add a purple ribbon or a freesia ribbon. But let's grab another glue dot here. Let's see if I can find one. There we go. Get that on the knot and make sure that it's on there good. Put it in this corner. Adorable. Now let's add the embellishments and we are good to go. So let's see, which embellishments are we using? The opals. So these are the opal rounds and it looks like I have loved these quite a bit because I hardly have any left. So I guess we are gonna be using the large one and then the two smalls that are left. So we'll put a large one down here and let's put a small one here and a small one here. And we have four large left and I need some new opals. Let me show you what they look like. <laughs> I know I have another pack because when I start getting low, I always buy one. So this is what they look like when you have a full pack. <laughs> and they come in the small size and the large size on the two sides of the card here. So looks like you have five and five on each, you know, 10 on each row. Um, there's a hundred in the pack. So it's a, it's a good deal. You get quite a, quite a bit. And as you can see, I have loved them very well because I have used all but four on this pack. So I've used 96 opal rounds. 
that just tells you the amount of cards I make. <laughs> All right. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me make this card. I had a fun time with you guys. Um, I appreciate you being here with me and watching me while I um, make my videos. I hope that you like this Tea Boutique set and that you'll subscribe for more content. Um, also, you'll get notifications of when I go um, and post videos. I would appreciate it if you'd share my video. I am trying to grow my channel and you can also share it to your Pinterest if you would like to make this card down the road. Um, you can save it to a board and that way you will have that available. I just wanna go over some measurements real fast. Um, the Daffodil Delight for this card was eight and a half by five and a half. For this one, it was Pool Party. And then the frame, I used a two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of basic white cardstock to cut the frame. Um, for the inside of the frame, I used a two and a half by three and an eighth piece of DSP for inside the frame. And this was the hues of happiness that I used. My teacup was a piece of one and three quarter by two and a half inch basic white and the same size basically for the greenery. It's just a tiny bit smaller, one and a half by two and a half. And then the flower area, um, I used a one and a half by two and a half also. And then I die cut those out. And then inside the designer series paper um, is a um, half inch by five and a half inches. And then I use some wine and, uh, I mean not wine, white um, twine. And the I use the sweet sorbet uh, metallic ribbon on this one. And on this one, I use the Tahitian tied metallic ribbon. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching me. Again, I'm really grateful to have you here. Definitely check out the cup of tea. Um, I have linked in the description below all the products that I used, including the fabulous frames dies that I used to make this cool frame card. So thanks for watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.